Good morning, everyone. What a great day for Windsor. What a great day for Canada. What a great day for Ford. It's, a, it's an incredible pleasure to be here. Thank you, Joe, for that uh, kind introduction. It's great to see uh, so many people here today who uh, worked very, very hard uh, to make this happen. And that, of course, includes uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne and uh, Brad Duga. The uh, government of Ontario has been very, very uh, strong in its support of, of Ford, of the manufacturing sector, of the auto sector specifically. Uh, Jerry Dias, uh, a dear friend who's uh, worked extremely hard, understanding that ensuring uh, opportunities for workers to get good jobs uh, and to have security for those jobs for the coming uh, coming decades and changing workplaces is absolutely essential and we couldn't have done it uh, without your leadership and your vision, uh, Jerry. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for hosting us here at the uh, Ford plant this morning uh, and letting us cut into your work day a bit. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, um, I, I, I don't want to uh, hear from Joe how much it cost the plant to, uh, to suspend uh, for a morning, but I know uh, that this is an extraordinarily important day uh, for all of us in this room, but uh, for the community uh, that we're all part of and the families we support with this great work. Um, before I start, I, I really uh, do want to say a few things. but about, about, uh, about Windsor uh, and about the great people here. but. This is also an emotional day for me. Uh, as was pointed out, uh, my father uh, broke uh, the sod, broke ground on this plant uh, f almost 40 years ago in 1978. And this morning I got to hold uh, the shovel that he used to do it. Uh, government can't do everything, and it shouldn't do everything. It shouldn't try. Uh, but the things it does do, it should do well. And when I think of the role uh, that successive governments have had in ensuring uh, this industry, the opportunities here, uh, and I think of what my dad was able to do that set in motion incredible success and jobs uh, for 40 years. I'm quite frankly humbled to be standing here today uh, to be able to announce that we are uh, securing this, uh, this industry and uh, good jobs in Windsor-Essex uh, for generations to come with this. Because I know and I recognize that Windsor has had a few difficult years. We can see and we can feel it. Things are really starting to pick back up. You guys are tough. There's no doubt about it. And because of that classic Windsor resilience, this community is prospering again. The economy is growing. More and more families are setting down roots and jobs are coming back. And that's really great to see. You folks should can and are very proud of your city. Glad to see your Mayor Drew here as well. Good to see you, Your Worship. As always, there is more work to be done, but today is a big step forward, one that will lead to more good, well-paying jobs for Windsorites. I don't want to take too much time, but I would like to say a few words rapidly. Comme vous le savez, on célèbre cette année le 150e anniversaire du Canada à travers le pays. Et bien que nous réfléchissons à tout le chemin parcouru, il est aussi important de penser à là où nous voulons aller et la façon d'y arriver. La semaine dernière, nous avons déposé le budget de 2017 qui constitue le deuxième chapitre du plan ambitieux de notre gouvernement pour faire croître l'économie et renforcer la classe moyenne. Et avant que je vous parle de la façon dont l'annonce d'aujourd'hui créera et maintiendra presque 800 bons emplois pour les Canadiens, il y a deux thèmes majeurs de ce budget dont je veux vous parler, la formation des compétences et l'innovation. We all know that key to any successful company is having the right workers with the right skills, and you guys here at Ford are a great example of that. But we've heard from folks that they're aware and nervous about the changing economy. With automation on the rise, hardworking Canadians are worried that their skills won't be sufficient for the jobs of tomorrow. And we've heard that worry loud and clear. But rather than recoil with a wait-and-see attitude, we see an opportunity to innovate 
and to help Canadian workers lead the way in a competitive global marketplace. So our government is investing significantly in skills training for Canadians. By helping workers upgrade their certifications and learn new skills, we're ensuring long-term prosperity both for the workers themselves and for the communities they live in. A second central theme of Budget 2017 is the idea of innovation and how, by supporting our most promising businesses, we can position Canada as a world leader in the new economy and secure great jobs for Canadians now and into the future. So all that being said, I'm extraordinarily happy to be here to support the great work being done by Ford and to signal that our government is committed to helping our most competitive industries get ahead. That's why the federal government is proud to invest $102 million in the Ford Motor Company of Canada. And this is in partnership with the Government of Ontario, which will match that investment. Now, this funding will go towards a few things. Launching the production of new engines here in Windsor, the creation of a new research and engineering centre in Ottawa, and expanding research and development capacity across the board, allowing Ford to stay innovative and cutting edge in the years ahead. All these efforts will result in the creation and maintenance of 800 good middle-class jobs for Canadian workers. En tant que gouvernement, nous savons que l'industrie de l'automobile joue un rôle important au sein de l'économie canadienne. Après tout, le secteur de l'auto emploie plus d'un demi-million de Canadiens et contribue 17.5 milliards de dollars à l'économie à chaque année. C'est pourquoi nous faisons notre part pour aider cette compagnie importante à aller de l'avant, tout comme mon père l'a fait dans les années 70. Notre gouvernement est fier d'investir dans l'innovation canadienne, que ce soit l'industrie de l'automobile, l'aérospatiale, l'intelligence artificielle ou les technologies vertes. Et nous sommes fiers d'investir dans la création et le maintien de bons emplois pour les gens qui travaillent fort ici à Windsor et partout au pays. I am so pleased to be here standing before you representing all Canadians because so many people were involved in demonstrating this path forward and making it happen. Whether it was visionary leadership from Ford that realizes how important uh, Canadian jobs and Canadian role to play in the auto sector continues to be, uh, whether it's a, prov it's a province uh, and a premier who's always stepped up on manufacturing, uh, whether it was a strong MPs from the region who uh, have made sure that we as a government stay focused on creating good jobs for folks in Windsor, whether it was municipal leadership or uh, the union leadership that uh, has the same uh, responsibility that we've taken very, uh, very much to heart, which is creating good jobs and opportunities for all Canadians. These are the kinds of things uh, that happen when we all work together, proud of the opportunities we've built in the past, but excited and optimistic about the future we are going to build together. Merci beaucoup, mes amis. What a pleasure to be here today. Keep up the great work.